What if I told you that we already got a hint of Gin's true intentions back in the Soul Society arc? First off, Gin confronting Ichigo and the rest in front of the gates definitely made sense. With Rukia's execution approaching, Aizen obviously didn't want anything to ruin his plans. On top of that, Gin knowing about Ichigo and Aizen's plans for him, it's obvious why he kept him alive. And everything Gin has done from that point on makes just as much sense. Until we get to the scene where he meets Rukia on the bridge just before the execution. At first he was just teasing her like he usually does with everyone, but then he offered to free her and save the rest of her friends too, which was obviously another joke. Rukia perceived this as a ruse to break her resolve, but in reality this was our first clue of Gin's true intentions. He wanted Rukia to fight for her life, and was buying time on top of that. Yes, he might be the type of person to toy with someone's life for fun, but in this particular moment he just didn't want Aizen to get his hands on Hojoku. 